Uh, I'm LaRon Harris of Michigan Works Bridge Academy, and today I'm going to talk about the Boys and Girls Club organization. The Boys and Girls Club organization has given children and teenagers opportunities to stay off the streets and stay productive, providing young people with structured education and recreation opportunities throughout the United States, help improve school performance and leadership development. Boys and Girls Club have a proven track record of enhancing the lives of young people and their families and in turn improving the neighborhoods with these young people. Today we have Miss Diana tell us about her experience with the Boys and Girls Club. Alright. No, that's fine. We just doing footage. Basically. Hi, how you doing? Hi, I'm how are you? I'm fine. I'm gonna get some footage. Let me give me when I'm in my good pass. Alright. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Hopers. South Haven, I'm the 21st century coordinator. Been here about two weeks. So I did my internship here in the summer. I was over to uh, Sports and Recreation. I think it's a good program for the youth of Ben Harbor. Um, bring them in off the street. Uh, when they come in, we do uh, academic studies, different things like that. And um, on free time, do what everybody loves to do, play basketball. That's oh, yeah. what this uh, community really loves to do, oh, yeah. is uh, sports. So we try to implement sports in. And just everybody come here, have a good time. One big happy family. Right, man. Hey, appreciate it. I'm Elijah Henry. I'm the director of operations here at the Boys and Girls from Abitin Harbor. And the question was asked of me that um, how do we enrich the young people's lives of Abitin Harbor? And basically, what we try to do is deal with the whole person. You know, and by doing that, we, we deal with helping them build healthy life skills to be able to um, balance a checkbook, understand the importance of that, understand the importance of building interpersonal skills with folks, to be able to get along with one another in a way that it doesn't disrupt their ability to learn. Uh, and also we want to provide the kind of support they need um, academically, providing uh, tutors and, and homework help year round, and also have a reading recovery program during the summer. And during, also happens year round, we have partners like The Link who come in and help us out with, with anger management classes, conflict resolution classes with our young people who struggle with that. And those are some types of issues that prevent some of our kids from being in class all the time because they don't deal well with conflict. And giving give them the skills to be able to get in and out of conflict in a way that doesn't cause trouble for them and their peers helps them stay in class more and in turn that gives them more opportunities to learn but you know uh, and also we work on building character we have character leadership and character development classes here that are designed at getting kids to understand the importance of volunteering the importance of being positive role models not only um, for younger kids but for their peers and showing each other how to act and how to perform in stressful situations. One of the things we we say to the kids, it's character is something that you show when nobody else is watching. And uh, 
we it's very important that we continue to build those three pillars education and uh, health, healthy life skill choices and character here at the club those three pillars are very important to us and we believe if we give give opportunities for those three di three different areas to be fed whether it's in our young people center or in our gym or in our game room we're able to touch all three of those er areas in every one of our program areas so um we're very proud of that and we have a great partnership with the organization called Winning Inc. which provides the tutors, which provides the folks who have the expertise in reading recovery. We also have a great partnership with the First Tee program which uses golf to build life skills. So we're, we're very proud of what we're doing here thus far and we look forward to continuing to try to grow it and impact the, uh, the community of Bent Harbor in a positive way. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Hi, I'm Leron Harris of Michigan Works Bridge Academy. I'm going to have a couple questions today for you about the Boys and Girls uh, organization. Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Harris. Nice to meet you, too. My first question is, how has this program helped you in your child develop? Uh, the Boys and Girls Club has done wonders for uh, my family. I have a son, um, Joe Vaughn, that's one of that has attended the Boys and Girls Club for many years now. They have received um, so much help um, with tutoring, um, just um, helping them to mature. My son is 15. Um, he's taking advantage with, of a class that they have called Passport to Manhood, where they work with the young men um, just about life. Yeah. And then my daughter has received a lot of help through um, scholarships that they offer um, through what's called Children's Musical Workshop. It's a drama stage production. She's done that for a number of years now. And thanks to the support of the Boys and Girls Club, we have been able to continue that. What type of influence does this organization demonstrate for you? Oh, great positive influence for the children in our community. There's so much negative out in the community for the young people. There's not a lot for them to do, but the Boys and Girls Club has so much to offer um, any young person when they go in that door, whether it's tutoring, uh, mentoring, drama, stage play, activities, sports. They have something to offer every young person in the community. Okay. How long has your child been attending this organization? My children have attended for about eight years now. They love it. They have a summer program that goes on all year. And during the school year, they have after-school programs. Uh, my son cannot participate as much now because he's in basketball in high school. But they have so many opportunities for the young people. My children have been there. They will continue to go there. Okay, do you think this program is good for the community and why? It's very good. It's very good for the community because it's a safe place with a wonderful learning environment. All of the young people that take advantage of it, they have nothing but the best. Good, great experience. There's a lot of um, just love. The staff is great. They treat our children like their children. They love them. They do so much all summer long. They have. They take them on field trips. A lot of the young people are low from low income families, so they can't afford to do a lot. And without the Boys and Girls Club, these children wouldn't be able to take advantage of. Um, they go everywhere. Um, during the summer, they go to water parks. And not only do they take them out, they teach the young people whether it's just etiquette. When you go out to eat, this is how you do, this is what, you know, how the service. Um, and so they teach them so much, they do great things. So at any chance I get, I'm always talking about the Boys and Girls Club because it's a wonderful place for the young people in our community. So much love, so much support, and so much to offer. Okay, my last question. What changes would you make to this organization? You know, there's there's not many changes. Um, they, they do so much. They're continuing to grow. There's other uh, partnering agencies that continue to donate to the Boys and Girls Club. And when you say change, the only thing that I would like to see is happen that they grow. The building gets bigger so that they can serve more children. Um, and and so that's a good thing. Just that they grow and grow and grow and more community partners come in and partner in with them and donate so that they can continue to serve so many more young people in the community. Thank you so much, Ms. Diane. You're welcome. Have a great day.